Hi everybody, and welcome back to another video here today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different, not a reaction, not playing video games like I do. Because that's like the two things I've done on this channel so far. <laughs> two things as I put up four fingers. Uh, I'm an idiot. But no, today, uh, today we are going to be doing an unpopular opinions because I got the idea from my friend. Uh, she also has a YouTube. I'll put her social media in the description. Uh, Number four I'll put it in is, a clip here, you I don't know, understand just the like hype around BTS. <laughs> don't get me wrong, they're all so handsome. I've never been much of a boy band person. Uh, but I don't understand. Anyway. So, yeah, today I have 20 unpopular opinions. I don't know if I'm going to mention them all in this video. I might split it up into two parts, 10 and 10, you know, we'll see how much I talk about each thing, but Let's just get into it. So my first unpopular opinion is Subway. If you, I know their whole thing is like, oh, order it your way. But like, if I order something by name that has like a set recipe, like the workers should know how to fucking make it. Like, I'm, I'm not here to tell you how to make something that you should already know how to make. Cause like, I always get those wraps specifically like the chipotle one with steak and this guy oh, he just did not know what he was doing he was he's putting in like ham and chicken and i was just looking at him like what is you doing and then he's like you, you said this chipotle one right and i'm like yeah and he just kept making it wrong i'm like no 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 take all that off take that off take that off like it was just so wrong, so I just ended up having to take over, basically, and, like, tell him how to make something he should have already known how to make. So, Subway, get your shit together. Okay, so opinion number two. When fast food doesn't have a limited, ti a limited time item that they've been, like, heavily advertising. So, like, the unicorn- let's, let's take the, the unicorn frap from Starbucks. This is a really good example. Because that shit sold out the f like the first day they had it and then like only a few locations had it like more than one day. It's like if you know you're going to have like a really popular like trending item, like you need to have it. Like a lot of it or else people are just going to be upset and they're not going to want to come back even for like regular shit. And then on the flip side, another thing that's annoying is when they don't even get the item at all, but they're advertising the shit out of it like they have it. Like, for example, Baskin Robin a while back had a, a freak shake. And again, the, the, I wanted either the unicorn one or the Oreo one, but they were like missing ingredients for both, which also happened to be like the main ingredient that made it like special. Like the unicorn one was missing like this cotton candy thing. And then the Oreo one was missing, I don't know, so it had something special on top of that one too that was missing. And then just recently the Stranger Things, this one wasn't as big of a deal. The Stranger Things Sunday, the Baskin Robbins in my area were missing the little coin, like chocolate edible coin or whatever it was, which isn't as big of a deal, but it's like, these companies need to get their shit together. Like if it comes with it, or you should have... Or you're advertising that you have it, like you actually need to have it. Period. Point blank. Period. Okay, so my next unpopular opinion is um, delivery people. Specifically, I'm talking about like pizza places, because that's like the most I've experienced this. People like begging for tips. Like, I get that that might be, like, a lot of your money, but, like, don't beg for it. Like, it's not cute. Like, literally, I had one guy, like, look at me and be like, where's my tip? Like, you know it's not included in the price, right? And, like, yeah, I don't have money for a tip. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. And he's like, well, you're stupid. You're this. Da -da 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 -da. You need to learn how to do things. Like... I don't make much money or something like he was just going off and like complaining and I'm like that's not how you get a tip like if you want a tip first of all this guy was also like 
probably like a good couple hours like late from when it said I should have got my pizza. So even if I had money to tip that night, I wouldn't have. So, but yeah, like a lot of the times, like I don't have the money to tip. So it's like, they shouldn't, they shouldn't ask for it. Like, if, if, if I had it, I, I, w I would have given it to you, like, you know, but, yeah, just. My next one. Chipotle is just the best sauce. Like, it, it just is, like, period. 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 Like, add Chipotle to anything at Taco Bell. Like, it costs extra, but you'll thank me later. It goes on burgers, it just, Chipotle. Like, Chipotle's the best sauce. Period. Okay, so my next unpopular opinion. Descendants, the Disney franchise where it's like the villain kids, is severely underrated. Like, people are like, oh my god, it's that cheesy, corny Disney series, eh. But like, it also happens to be the number one most watched Disney Channel original movie, and each fan each one gets more and more of an audience. But that being said, I feel like so many more people would be into it. But I feel like we're at that point where a lot of people like my age and older, like nineteen and older, are like, "Eh, it's that cheesy Disney thing. I'm not gonna watch that. I'm too old for that. My childhood was better." Da -da 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 -da. But like, I actually gave it a chance when the first one came out. Cause like, I think the first one came out, I want to say like mid to early high school when I was like in like freshman or sophomore year ish. And I knew it was based off of a book series, but like, I, I haven't read a book in a minute. I'm gonna be real. Like, I, I don't got time for that. <laughs> but um. I knew it was based off a good book series, so I'm like, ooh, potential, and then just, like, each sequel was great, and I'm excited for the third one. It's kind of sad that Cameron died, but, um, there'll probably be, like, a tribute to him at the end, and hopefully uh, his storyline in the movie is a good way for him to go out on, because, you know, he deserves it, so. Okay, so next unpopular opinion YouTube merch. Like some YouTubers need to step up their game. Like if your if your merch is just like a, a saying that you said and then like your YouTube name, like put in more effort. Like what what are you doing? Like like that that's not really a design. That's just like text. And that's it. Like n no one wants that. Like like I know a lot of people be hating on Logan Paul, but like See, like, this actually looks like some effort was into it, you know? He, like, made, a, like, a little logo, and then he, like, designed it all out, and blah, blah, blah. He probably hired people to do it, but, like, this looks like some effort, you know? And to be fair, this is, like, one of the most comfortable shirts that I own, so. Props to Logan Paul. People who, who just have, like, text on their shirt and, like, nothing else. Like, st step your game up. Like, you could get so much more money, but, like, no. <laughs> so my next one is Arrow Season 4 was actually good. And a lot of people were like, oh, it didn't make sense. Or like the magic angle came in at nowhere. I don't know. I actually liked it. Because like Damien Dark had like this whole like cult vibe going on. And I don't know. I actually liked him as a villain. And like compared to some of the other seasons, I actually liked that one more. Because everyone in, like, the Arrowverse, like, fandom, ugh, I hate using the word fandom, but in, in the fandom, <laughs> like, a lot of people be hating on that season, and they're like, oh, The Flash was so much better that season, and I'm just like, first of all, there are two different shows, like, one has a darker, no pun intended, because his name's Damien, the villain was Damien Dark, but, like, one has a darker tone to it, and the other has a lighter tone, like, you can't really compare them too much other than the fact that they're DC superheroes and they cross over like you can't really compare the two but I actually liked that season and um 
I'm excited for the crossover in the fall when Crisis on Infinite Earths. Let's go. Okay, so another one I want to talk about is um, people either taking conspiracy theories too seriously or not seriously enough. Like, sometimes some people put out some theories that are like obviously jokes and then people end up believing those ones. But then the ones that have like more truth and evidence or like considered like crazy or like out there but meanwhile the ones that actually are like dumb and stupid are the ones that get taken truthfully and it, it really bugs me because like if you really do some research into the ones that are considered crazy they're not as crazy as you think and then the ones that are jokes people take seriously which just makes everyone think oh you shouldn't believe in any of it which is really frustrating because like again if you know what you're talking about and you do your research on this shit a lot of this shit is actually truer than it seems not gonna go into detail right now because that's this ain't a conspiracy video but like that just really pisses me off and that brings me to my next point which is just people are stupid people will believe anything you tell them stupid 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 Stupid! Stupid! Like, with no research. Like, people are just... Like, if you give them, like, a headline and, like, maybe, like, like a clip. Like, like, like not even, like, like, a good clip. Like, an edited, like, shit. Like, people will just believe what you tell them, too. Like, like, people believe whatever's in the media and just in the current eye. And if it's not popular and you haven't heard about it, people probably haven't heard of certain problems and things and just like people are very uneducated especially in the current year and people just need to do more research on things like like I said about conspiracies in the last opinion like people just need to do more research on things learn about more of what's going around them and not just being spoon-fed by the media like oh you should believe this you should do that because like it's affecting politics it's affecting the planet it's not cute. We as a society just need to like step step our game up or else this planet's gonna die. Okay, so my next one is uh, brown sugar pop tarts. Brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts are fucking disgusting. I feel like that's like the go-to flavor. Like everyone's like, that's the OG flavor. That's my shit. But like since the original flavors of pop tarts there's been so many other good flavors, like there's a vanilla milkshake one that I just had where you don't even toast it, you put that shit in the freezer, that was good. There was a cupcake one that literally just came out like a few days ago from when I'm recording this. The, uh, I had a, a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher one that was decent, like there's so many other flavors. So like when I ask people like, what's your flavor, pop tart flavor? And they say brown sugar, I'm just like, what is you doing? Like, cooked, uncooked, I don't care. That shit's disgusting. Like, every time I have a brown sugar pop-tart, like, I want to drink so much water because, like, that shit just leaves my mouth, like, so fucking dry. Like, brown sugar pop-tarts are disgusting. Like, there's so many better flavors. Like, s'mores, milkshake. Like, I could go on. Like, just that's that's the worst pop-tart. Like, it's, it's just a fact. Period! 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 So that's going to do it for my first unpopular opinions. I'm probably going to do a number two because this video was kind of getting long, pushing 10 minutes or so, and I don't know how long it's going to be with editing. So I'm probably going to make a part two. So leave a like for that. Tell me some things you might want my opinion on. And uh, don't forget, I'll have all my social media as well as my friend's social media in the description below because she's the one who gave me the idea. Uh, thank, thank you to her. Shout out to her. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace.